Welcome back, this is the Clay Golem, this is Foundry VTT version 12 and this is part of our automation series. We're looking at Darkness Spell again um, because it's a real tricky one. So if you watched the last video where we were looking at improving the spell Darkness, we came up with a solution. It's not brilliant, it's not rules as written, but it gives some of the effects that we need. Well been continuing playing because not happy with the way that that's implemented it's better than nothing um but yeah it, it's not brilliant um so yeah been playing with that for the past sort of 24 hours and lots of help from drazimo as well who's one of our channel members who's also been playing with it and made some good leaps and bounds in the correct direction and we've got it working with devil's sight etc Although I had some issues, um, and the way that he did it didn't quite work for me either. Um, but to taking the Chris's version and the Drazimo version and slamming them together, we have a third version. <laughs> so this video, I'm going to take you through those three versions um, so that you can see how they work. And then we're going to talk about Devil Sight uh, towards the end and an additional mod to handle that for us. So in my um, my Clay Golem GM tested stuff, as you can see, I've got those three versions of Darkness. Now I am going to put those all into my automated items compendium and relink that in the video. And I'm going to leave all three of them in there because you will have a preference. And because it was really quite janky, um, it's working like that Darkness, the third version of it. Is working on mine you might have problems uh, in fact I'm almost guaranteeing some of you will have problems because it, it the other settings that you've got and all sorts of bits it may not work very well at all so this way at least you've got three options um, and you can pick the one that works that you prefer and all of that good stuff all right let's crack on shall we so first of all uh, I've switched character for casting. Um, all I've done is make these innate just for easier for casting for this purpose rather than keep saying no, don't use a spell slot. All right, so the first version is the one that we did look at in the previous video. Concentration, yes, place that template. And this is pretty much Chris's pre-maids that I added on the blinded condition for. So Chris's pre-maids gives us this circle. It gives us this graphic. And the really good bit that Chris's does is it applies the advantage and disadvantage stuff for um, for the darkness. Now, when you test that, something to bear in mind, and you kind of go, hang on a minute, when I'm in the darkness and I'm fighting something in the darkness, it's not giving me advantage or disadvantage. N no, because you can't. they're cancelling each other out. So watch for that. <laughs> But if you're shooting out of darkness, for example, if you've got Devil Sight and you're shooting out of it, um, you should be getting advantage and things like that. Yeah, because they can't see the attacker, so they you, you get advantage. Right, so um, this, yeah, this is as per the previous video. We've got concentration, we've got the graphic, they're blinded, anything in there... Um, I mean, those are, if I'm, let's use a player character, if we walk in there, we become blinded, we cannot see anything at all we can't see anything in here or out of there which is great and that is functionally appropriate but if you're outside you're not affected by that so you can see stuff that's in darkness so you you know that's not working as it should be and of course these creatures are not actually blind um it's just that's what we've used to prevent them from being able to see in the darkness if they've got things like um, devil sight and stuff, blind will blind them regardless of devil sight. Because, you know, that's a condition that says you can't see anything. All right, so that's option number one. Uh, let me cancel that concentration. Ta da! All right, now the second version is essentially um, Drazimo brought down and just had a little fiddle with the one from the DBI importer. Um, and he very kindly did a little video showing that working with the devil sight thing that we'll get to at the end. And it was like, brilliant, he's cracked it. Uh, and when I tried to replicate it, mine came in using the DDBI importer, different from his. <laughs> so I had to, had to do a bit of tweaking to get my version working. Why his and mine are different, who knows? Who knows? It might be he bought his in on a warlock, whereas I bought mine in on a mage. I don't know. But anyway, Darkness 2. So second version. This is going to ask for concentration. 
and we're going to cast that spell. Did you notice the way concentration went on and then it came off again? So that is a problem I've not been able to solve yet. Drazimo's version, it works, but for mine it doesn't. Anyway, let's place this template down. Boom. Now this is creating a standard uh, light effect um, from VT version 12. In a foundry version 12 so that is a standard light effect but of course we have darkness as a light effect now so that's all that is really giving us but if we're inside it let's use this player again well look if we're outside of it we cannot see in at all we can't see in even with dark vision this character's got dark vision if i step inside i can't see inside it or outside i can pass out and walk all the way around it so regardless of whether you've got dark vision, normal vision, etc., that won't work. And if this guy pops out the other side, he can uh, because he's got normal vision and there's no light over here, it's actually dark for him anyway. Okay, so that is great. That's really, really good. Like I say, mine is different from Drazimo's. I could not get mine to do quite the same as his. Um, I'm not getting that, even though I've copied his settings and everything. That's what I mean by, you know, it's going to be another setting in something else that is not quite making this work the same as his. His is applying concentration, and then when that concentration breaks, it was... Uh, I actually, I didn't see that, but his has concentration on it. Um, I've got no... Con it's not applying concentration for mine. Even though the settings all say, yes, it will apply concentration, it's applying it and then taking it straight off again. So I've got a conflict there I've not been able to resolve. But part of trying to resolve that is how I ended up with my third option I'm going to show you. Now, because we've got no concentration on this, obviously it's not going to time out. Um, and because it's a light effect, I just need to come in and delete that light. Okay, so it's more, it gives better visuals than the Chris's pre made version. Chris's pre made gives us the better mechanics, but no visuals. So we've got those two things. So what I wanted to do was, can I mash those two together so that we've got the Chris's pre-made mechanics, which are solid, and we've got Drazimo's version of the actual light effect, um, which means we've got the visual we want as well. <laughs> <laughs> Nervous laugh, right? <laughs> okay, so that's my Darkness 3. So let's cast my Darkness 3. It's added concentration as we would like, and it's kept it, and I can slap that down. Now, the only problem with this one is I slap that down. There's the Chris's pre-mades, but it still wants me to put down another template. So I'm just going to put down the second template directly over the top. No, I'm not attaching it herself. Now I've got both of them in one spell. So Chris's pre-mades that's giving us the concentration that we want. It's giving us the advantage disadvantage mechanics that we want but we've also got the light effect so now if we take this individual they can indeed walk in here and well they can walk out the other side of course they can't see anybody inside when they're outside they can't see anybody inside when they're inside and they can't see anybody outside when they're outside uh, but when they're outside obviously they can see other people that are outside that is exactly what we want Right, brilliant, and we have concentration. So if I get rid of this concentration, it also gets rid of both the Chris's template and the light template. So for my games, because that's working, yeah, I've got to put down two templates. What the heck? It's one extra click. It's really not a big deal. Um, the only thing is, is if I've got a caster who is using darkness, I haven't at the moment, but they, I may well have. Uh, if I've got a caster that's using it, I'll just have to instruct them to say, hey, look, yeah, pop the second template directly over the first one. Bosh, job done. So they line up. Um, I can't get it to do both in one template. Uh, Drazimo and I have basically spent 24 hours just playing with this, <laughs> trying to get it working. And this is the best that between us we've managed to get. But I think that is really, really good. It absolutely works. So like I say, you might find that that one doesn't quite work on yours. You might find that when you use uh, the Darkness 2 version, that like Drazimo's, the concentration works. So that might be perfectly acceptable to you and you have no drama with it. Like I say, I can't, even matching all of his um, his settings that he, had, he showed me in his video, can't get it to do it. 
All right, so three versions of those. Those will be in the uh, description. There'll be a link to my um, my automated items. Those three will be in there. I've said that, but I've not even put them in there yet. I'm going to do that right now, or otherwise I'm going to make a right muppet of myself and uh, and forget. And I've also just put those randomly instead of putting them into the actual folder. Okay, so what I suggest you do is you test it, you find which one you want. Just delete the two out you don't want and keep the one that you do. Um, it will save you getting too confused with things. All right, so that is in there. So what's next? Devil Sight. Let's look at Devil Sight. Now, for this, the best thing to do is another mod. Okay, so again, this is this is Drazimo's investigations, and I, I saw references to it, um, but uh, I hadn't got it working enough to even bother getting quite that far to look at it. We want to add on, uh, hang on, where is it? It's it, I promise. Where's it gone? I've got insane, haven't I? I didn't add it on, that's why. <laughs> Vision 5E. So sorry about that. I took Vision 5E off because I wanted to get my spell working without having this extra mod. Okay, so what you've just seen does not include this mod. So apologies for that. Poor brain. I say, Drasimo and I have been working on this for hours and it's um, scrambled our brains a little bit. Okay, all right. Thank you, Sync. I don't need to sync any of you. So if we come back in, what the heck does this module do? So uh, in configure settings, I, there's very little or anything. Um, yeah, one setting. So what's really useful about this is it, it basically takes over the all of the detection so your sight but also sound tremor sense and everything else like that um, so the only setting here is how it's going to calculate the range that you can hear stuff for any of your characters okay so it's a default for everybody and as you can probably see it's based on your um, passive perception so the higher your passive perception the better you are or the further you can hear noise which makes sense, doesn't it? Because that's the type of perception. So that's the only setting in there. Let's look at this individual here. Okay, and if I can double right click to open up and go to their vision tab, normally on here, you've got uh, normal vision. There is no normal vision option. That's been removed because they're all assumed to have normal vision. Okay, everybody's got normal vision, and, and that's correct. Okay, apart from the very unusual monsters that have only Tremor Sense or something like that, all of the player characters and things are going to have normal vision. They might also have Blind Sight, also have Dark Vision, Devil Sight, and True Sight. And obviously True Sight is generally a very temporary from a spell or possibly from a magic item. So the magic item and the spell will handle that anyway. Now I could uh, try and set this to here. Um, and you can see the colors in the background twitching okay um, but what I really want to do is actually apply devil sight to the character itself so give them that ability uh, and actually this this dude's got it I have already done that I thought I took it off again so we've got that warlock feature of devil sight on my cleric just to be weird and stuff so the clerics vision as they wander around even as they wander all the way over here, well away from that light source, they've got their vision that they should have, which is great. But how does that work when we've got our darkness up? So let's cast our darkness. I'm going to, I'm going to use this version of it. I'm going to slap both of those down. I'm not attaching it to myself. Uh, and I've now got that. Now when I click this, select this individual, of course outside the darkness, their vision is as we would expect. But can you see these highlight, highlighted creatures over here? He's looking through the darkness, seeing what's in the darkness and what's beyond the darkness. And as he moves in, he can still see. Uh, these are square because they're other uh, player characters. Um, 
and it's just outlining the token. So these are creature tokens and these are square tokens. But he can see all of these creatures even though he's in darkness because of that devil sight. He can still detect them. When I move out then again obviously he can see normally with his devil sight see these things normally but he can still see through the darkness. So that works absolutely beautifully. So if we leave him in the darkness, if we take this chap here, um, he cannot see in the darkness, he hasn't got devil sight. But can you see this ring here? If we move him closer and into darkness, he now cannot see because he's only got normal vision and he's in darkness. But we've got several of these pop up. Well look what they correspond to. They correspond to those tokens. That's because he can hear them. So we cannot see them, but he can hear them. So attacks against them would be definitely a disadvantage because, yeah, he knows rough location. So that's what that Vision 5e, I mean, it's called Vision 5e, but this is hearing, you know, so <laughs> pinch of salt on the name there. Um, but as he moves around, if he can't see them, it will let him know what he can detect based on that sound. So if we move further over this way, you know, we can we can detect a whole bunch of them and there they all are. So it's up to you whether you feel that that adds to you. I think with my Curse of Strahd party at the moment, uh, one, none of them have got the darkness spell yet because they're not high enough level. Uh, and none of them have got Devil Sight. Um, including, yeah, we have got a Warlock, but the Warlock doesn't have Devil Sight. Um, so that's not an issue Just gonna check that you're my warlock i'm pretty sure you haven't got that because you don't get it yet uh no absolutely dark one's blessing but no uh, no you don't get that yet i think it's third level you can pick that up um so that might be an issue for me and if so we now know how to do it anyway don't we so i'm going to be using my darkness 3 version of that spell when any of my players pick it up or when any of my npcs start throwing it around at them and they will because um, we've gone to this much effort to get it working, so I'm going to bloody well use it. <laughs> um, but like I say, this this is uh, it's up to you whether you use the 5e vision as well, but it does really tie in very nicely um, for getting that to work quite seamlessly. But I've not spent a lot of time looking at the Vision 5e mod, so there are possible other little problems that it causes by changing vision with some of the other spells. Um, but everything I've kind of read about it, it is a well-loved um, add-on module uh, and is considered to be very reliable and very simple to use. So, um, and you just saw, I added it. There, there was no settings, basically, um, and it works. So really, really straightforward. I'm going to go have a nap, I think. Um, <laughs> I was up at six o'clock in the morning this morning, it's like fiddling with it again. It's like, I've got to get this working. So I hope that's really useful to you. Like I say, in the description, there will be a link to my compendium um, if you want to use it. Of all of the things we've tested so far that we've tested are working, if you do choose to use the ones from that compendium, just remember a lot of them are direct gambits or direct Chris's pre-mades. It's only my checklist of saying I've tested that and it works. If you do encounter any problems with them, um, it would be useful if you did let me know, just drop it in the comments and just say, hey, look, by the way, this one's not working. And I can just check it again on my end or potentially help you. M minor debugging, because sometimes there's some obvious things to do with versions and stuff like that. And talking of versions, just a reminder, we are on Foundry version 12, the latest version. We are keeping up to date with the Foundry ones, updating as they update. No, we will not jump to version 13 immediately when that arrives. Just so you know, we're going to update and update and update and stop when they hit 13. Um, but we're on the D&D game engine 3.3.1. And that's a really important one that we need to make sure we're on for these automations and things. If you're running behind on different versions of that, you may encounter problems. And don't update beyond that at this point because of the... D&D 2024 rulebook changes and stuff like that and D&D Beyond is already in absolute chaos because of that stuff so let's not mess with it um, and the only other mod to kind of mention about is the actual MIDI itself 
and you should be on the 11.6 um, path for that. Now, if you're on version 12, that should have forced you over anyway onto the correct one. You should be on 11.6.10 well, at the moment. Um, so keep up with those. If you're not on 11.6 um, and you are on version 12 of Foundry, the recommendation is to uninstall MIDI QOL and reinstall it and it will bring in the correct one for you. Right, been a bit of a journey. I <laughs> hope that's useful, guys. Um, if you really want to look at the gubbins and delve into the settings for this, um, obviously you can download and have a look at them yourself. I'm not going to go through them all um, because uh, because I'm tired. <laughs> as simple as that. Take care, and we'll see you in the next one. <laughs>